So here we are now at video number 15. And I hope you've been noticing that I have been very carefully attempting to guide you into all the truth. And it's a righteous thing to do, an act of righteousness. And through this means, I really hope that I'm not found naked and that I do indeed obtain those white outer garments. And so you'll have to do the same. Pay it forward. Observe God's commandment. You in turn are to bear witness. You will have to guide other people into all the truth. Otherwise, you might be found naked when Jesus Christ appears. So, in this video, I'll keep doing the same. I'll attempt to guide you into all the truth. Listen carefully. I'm going to start in a very familiar place and attempt to make you see something really amazing. Listen carefully. Romans chapter 9 again. It's important. And verse 25. It is as he says also in Jose, those not my people, I will call my people. And her who was not beloved, beloved and in the place where it was said to them you are not my people there they will be called sons of the living God now let me keep going moreover Isaiah cries out concerning Israel Although the number of the sons of Israel may be as the sand of the sea, it is the remnant that will be saved. For Jehovah will make an accounting on the earth, concluding it and cutting it short. the great tribulation. He will cut it short for the chosen ones on account of the chosen ones. So now I'm going to read a scripture that we all know. If you're an ex-Jehovah's Witness, you know this scripture. But now, it's going to make sense. Finally, listen carefully. It's in Psalm 37. So remember, the Great Tribulation. I'll start in verse 10 of Psalm 37. You all know this scripture. And just a little while longer, and the wicked one will be no more. And you will certainly give attention to his place, and he will not be. But the meek ones themselves will possess the earth 
and they will indeed find their exquisite delight in the abundance of peace. Just a little while longer. For Jehovah will make an accounting on the earth, concluding it and cutting it short. So all throughout this video series, you've heard that scripture. In the place where it was said to them, you are not my people, there they will be called sons of the living God. So my audience must be asking themselves the question. So what question should you be asking yourself? Am I really a son of the living God? Well, <laughs> I turn that around and ask you the same question. Are you really one of the sons of the living God? <laughs> You really should be thinking very carefully about that. So, in the last several videos preceding this, I've explained some things that are truly humiliating and very painful and difficult for anyone in my audience to come to terms with. It was difficult for me, so I understand how difficult it must also be for my entire audience. The humiliation is enormous because we all made a very big mistake. We were deceived by Satan in a truly spectacular way, a very unrighteous way. And coming to terms with that, you actually do have to feel humiliated. And so I checked the uh, YouTube analytics this morning. It tells me what kind of views I'm getting and in the last couple of videos, my view count has dropped. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Because as far as I can tell, those people are having too much difficulty with the amount of humiliation we all really need to deal with. And they're not able to bear it. It's difficult to bear. Remember what it said in John chapter 16? I have many things yet to tell you, but you are not able to bear them at the present. And so, yeah, some people are not able to bear that amount of humiliation. And so if, you, if you're still following along in this video series, then I'm going to have to make a guess that you actually do feel humiliated. And so now I'm going to go back to Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 28, and, that, and that's the chapter that has everything to do with the covenant, with death, 
millions now living will never die. You positively will not die. So I'm going to go back up again and read something I've already told you. Listen carefully to this. It's in verse 9 of Isaiah chapter 28. Whom will one instruct in knowledge? And whom will one make understand what has been heard? It's a good question. <laughs> Who? <laughs> and remember, Isaiah is addressing those people who were deceived in a truly spe spectacular way. The covenant with death being perpetrated by the rulers of the people in Jesus Christ's kingdom. So who will one instruct in knowledge? What's the answer? So now I'm going to go answer that question because it's a really good question. And I'm going to Ezekiel chapter 43. And so this is the chapter where the end time temple is described. Okay? It's the temple that will last to times indefinite. It's where the 12 or maybe it's 13 tribes of Israel will receive their blessing. They'll receive their lot, their allotment. <laughs> okay? So, whom will one instruct in knowledge? Good question, right? Remember, this is all things are new. This is about God's kingdom. Listen carefully now to Ezekiel chapter 43, and I'll start in verse 10. As for you, O son of man, inform the house of Israel about the house that they may feel humiliated because of their errors. And they must measure the pattern. And if they actually feel humiliated because of all that they have done, the ground plan of the house and its arrangement and its exits and its entryways and its specifications and all its laws do you make known to them and write before their eyes in order that they may observe the ground plan and all its specifications and may actually carry them out. This is the law of the house. On the top of the mountain, its entire territory, 
all around is something holy. Look, this is the law of the house. Does that answer the question? Whom will one instruct in knowledge? And if they actually feel humiliated because of all that they have done and they must measure the pattern measuring line upon measuring line measuring line upon measuring line that they may observe all its ground plan and all its specifications and may actually carry them out this is the law of the house command upon command command upon command that they may observe all its ground plan and may actually carry them out command upon command will you observe God's commandment and do what is righteous And will you be wearing white outer garments when Jesus Christ appears? Good question. Are you one of the sons of the living God? So Here's another question that my audience really should be asking themselves. How close to the end are we? Really, how close is it? So I'm gonna read a little piece from Ezekiel here again. I read it already. Listen carefully. This is the law of the house. On top of the mountain, its entire territory all around is something most holy. Look, this is the law of the house so how close are we to the end I'm going to go to Micah chapter 4 listen carefully And it must occur. 
Micah chapter 4, verse 1. It must occur in the final part of the days that the mountain of the house of Jehovah will become firmly established above the top of the mountains and it will certainly be lifted up above the hills and to it peoples must stream and many nations will certainly go and say come you people and let us go up to the mountain of Jehovah and to the house of the God of Jacob and he will instruct us about his ways and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion law will go forth and the word of Jehovah out of Jerusalem and he will certainly render judgment among many peoples and set matters straight respecting mighty nations far away For out of Zion, law will go forth. So now I'm going to go back to Romans chapter 9 where we started this video. And I'll show you why. The Apostle Paul wished he could be a disfellowship, Jehovah's Witness. Out of Zion, law will go forth. So here we are in Romans chapter 9 again, but this time I'll start in verse 3. For I could wish that I was myself were separated as the cursed one from the Christ in behalf of my brothers, my relatives according to the flesh, who as such are Israelites to whom belong the adoption as sons and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. and the sacred service and the promises the giving of the law out of Zion law will go forth command upon command, measuring line upon measuring line. 
Are you one of the sons of the living God? Observe God's commandment. Pay it forward. There's an inheritance reserved in the heavens for you. You, in turn, are to bear witness. You need to perform acts of righteousness. And wear those white outer garments. Observe God's commandment. You in turn are to bear witness. Like newly born infants form a longing for the unadulterated milk. So now I'm going to read something Jesus Christ said. It's in John chapter 3, verse 3. In answer, Jesus said to him, Most truly, I say to you, unless anyone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Like newborn infants form a longing for the unadulterated milk for the truth. The kingdom will not come with striking observableness. The kingdom is in your midst. Can you see it? 